The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program depending on their content. You can earn continuing education credits through ACI's online CEU program. Visit www.concrete.org to register. ACI conventions provide an opportunity for networking and for keeping up to date with the latest in concrete technology and practices. I want to introduce Frank Lennox. He's manager with technical service to Bootsy Unisim. He's been in the industry, the concrete or cement industry for 20 years. He's a leader with respect to some of the innovative ideas on pervious concrete, RCC. He's really strengthened that whole southeast region, the Chattanooga area. Uh, absolutely just amazing how much he knows about uh, things. And, and in fact, he, he knows just about everything about anything. And he says here he has no experience with roller compacted concrete for for the ready mix industry, and guess what? That's what he's going to speak on. So, I want to introduce Frank. Give him a hand. Well, good morning. Um, and Wayne is absolutely correct. I am a cement man. Uh, we are the base of all good concrete. Without us, we wouldn't be sitting here today. So, well, my experience um, in the ready mix industry is limited. So, um, to, to prepare myself for this presentation, I did I did some studying. First, it was this great manual that I found. It is called "I Am a Cement Mixer," which, of course, we understand that is incorrect. But it has some really great information on it. So, I did a lot of midnight studying uh, on this. And is Dr. Head around here today? Uh, I'm going to try to talk her into getting this into the CIM program at MTSU. <laughs> also, book learning is great, but you need some experience with a ready mix operation. So I went out and did some experimenting on the job training with the ready mix uh, industry to, to prepare myself for this presentation. Okay, the question that, that comes up a lot, um, Wayne talked about roller compacted concrete uh, being produced uh, through pug mill operations, and that's, and that's pretty much where it got started. So we, uh, as an industry in the Chattanooga area, uh, wondered if we can produce this product on a smaller scale through the ready mix operation. Let the local ready mix producer um, profit uh, from... Uh, from this product. Up until about 15 years ago, most RCC jobs, if not all, were done uh, with pug mills. Uh, since that time, we have been able to expand to do smaller jobs. Typical uh, pug mill operation. But since 1997, we have been producing RCC through ready mix operation in East Tennessee. We're now expanding into Middle Tennessee. Hopefully we'll get to Texas someday. But that's what we've been doing since 1997. We started with the local DOT. We were uh, uh, able to convince our regional DOT maintenance manager to look into roller compacted concrete. Uh, and he had the money at that time to do it. So we expanded uh, into uh, county roads. And also the DOT is in charge of any uh, access roads into development. So once a development is, is uh, underway, they maintain the roads. So we started doing access roads with RCC. Uh, a lot of them have been covered at the time. They were using the RCC as a base material, and we covered them with an inch and two inches of asphalt for a riding surface. What about the mix design? Wayne talked a little bit about mix design of, of roller compacted concrete. It's the same thing. We're looking at mix designs the same way as you would if it's a bug meal 
uh, uh, production operation. Uh, during, uh, you know, you find out your proper moisture content. You run uh, several mixes with, with whatever uh, cement content uh, you come up with, 12, 14, 16 percent PSI. These are several mixes that we were looking at that day. We settled on the one all the way on the right-hand side. This is all with local materials found at the ready mix operation facility. We do not bring in any uh, farm materials. Whatever he has on his stockpile, we diligently work with that material to make sure we can meet the, the gradation curve uh, and the strength that we need for roller compacted concrete. This is the first mix design that we tried uh, with TDOT. Um, my predecessor at, at uh, Bootsy in Chattanooga um, worked on this, and basically we just took a 4,000 PSI mix uh, and took out some water and uh, made it as dry as we could. Uh, this is what we worked with for several years. So a ready mix producer can do this, okay? And that's pretty much what the surface looked like. Now, Wayne alluded to make sure your customer knows what he's getting as far as surface preparation. Uh, this happens to be in, in front of our one of our silos at the, at the plant. Um, is it pretty? No. Is it durable? Yes, it is. It's been in probably uh, 12 years. Okay? But as we progressed into promoting and doing more RCC work in our local area, uh, at some point, an owner said, well, this is, uh, I want durability, and I want it to look good. So we go, okay, you know, if we want the business, we need to do it that way. So I came up with a, I think, a great idea was let's take all that big rock and change it around. And simply, I just took some small um, a half inch or three eighth inch stone. Previous to this, we had about 1,800 pounds of uh, three-quarter inch stone. So we increase it to 2,200 pounds and divide it to weight 50-50, three-quarters and three-eighths of an inch or uh, stone. Let the, uh, let the fine aggregate work itself out. We used a little fly ash to increase the fineness to it. And we uh, used some standard water-reducing agent, not to get the water reduction, because we don't have a lot of water in the mix, but to increase the workability a little bit of the mixing action of the RCC in the conventional ready mix operation. And that's the surface that that mix produced. If I was an owner and wanted something smooth and, and durable, this is this is ideal. Okay. Is it as as tightly uh, compacted and smooth as maybe a, a huge pub mill job where you have control over the aggregates? No, but this is what we sell our owners, and it's much better than the first mix. Okay, what type of ready mix plants do we use to make the roller compacted concrete? Wayne alluded to the central batch drum type. We have in Chattanooga uh, a ready mix producer that has a twin shafted horizontal mixer. Okay, uh, it's a it's a five yard mixer, and we do somewhere between three and a half and four. We limit the total amount of RCC in the truck to eight yards. So we do two, two dumps. We also have uh, the red unit on top is a unit, a ready mix producer bought to do a roller compacted concrete dam job. And he had it stuck away somewhere, so he cleaned it up. And now, uh, in some cases, we'll use it uh, underneath the dry patch operation to make, so this is a portable pug mill. Recently, um, some newer versions are on the market. Now, the only drawback to, to doing this is that once you put this piece of equipment underneath the dry batch plant, you can forget about conventional concrete. Okay? Uh, the angle of the belt is too steep to allow conventional concrete to go up it. I mean, if you put conventional concrete there, you're going to have a pile of wet concrete at your feet. So. In, in both of these, in both of these projects, um, uh, we pretty much uh, did RCC the whole day. So the ready mix producer owner has to um, 
make sure that plant is only used to roll a compacted cotton. That's the one drawback on these portable uh, mixers. To get down to, uh, if you don't have a pug mill, the job isn't big enough for a pug mill, you don't have the access, uh, accessibility of the portable uh, pug mill, then we sort of looking into ready mix operations. This is a uh, project in, uh, in Dawsonville, Georgia. We have a terminal there. We decided to do RCC at the terminal. This was a ready mix operation down the road. And uh, luckily we had a, uh, we had a ramp here that we're able to do the dump trucks on. As Wayne alluded to, uh, in this operation, we're putting roughly five to six cubic yards in a drum at a time. Um, and it works out well, because if you notice, in this picture, we have two ready-mix trucks emptying into one dump truck. Well, if you can only hold eight to 10 yards, why not put five yards in each of these, or four? Now you have eight yards. It mixes better and it discharges quicker. Okay? If you try to put eight, ten yards of RCC in a ready mix truck, it is just going to choke it and you're not going to get the good mixing action you will get with conventional concrete because it's so dry. Okay? It works out quite well. We also, on this job, use a polycarboxylate admixture at about half the normal addition rate that you would in conventional concrete. Uh, to lubricate the RCC. Um, the ready mix uh, truck drivers were told every third round they were to pull in to the washout rack and wash out the drum just to make sure we didn't get any build up on the back of the fins. When we're using the, the admixture, there was hardly any build up on the back of the fins. Like any good ready mix operation, somebody forgot to disconnect a hose from the empty uh, tote and put it on the full tote. So we had several rounds that had no uh, admixture used, and the ready mix drivers noticed it right away. So with a dry batch operation, you do have to have an elevated area to have your ready mix trucks uh, higher than the dump trucks to uh, unload uh, in, into the dump truck. Can be a problem in some oper in, in some operations. We 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 have ready mix producers that are, or yeah, we can do. We'll build something for you. Another one's going. We don't want to do it. So uh, we give them. You know, here's what we can do. If you can't do it, well, unfortunately, find somebody else. So if you don't have a ramp to put your ready mix trucks on, you have to think outside the box to do this. This is a um, project up in Indiana. Uh, Chris knows this area. Uh, we were doing a, uh, a demo for uh, Davies County. The ready mix producer had all front discharge, so he built this ramp and we thought it would work, and it did not work at all because all the material in front end discharge is at the back end, so in order to get it out, you got to raise the back end up a little bit, wouldn't you think, to help it come out? And uh, that didn't work. We are able to get enough material in, the, in this project to do the demo, but the next time we did a larger job, this is, a, I, this is what the ready mix producer came up with. He said, well, let's just back the stuff, the trucks up on a, on a ramp, so he smoothed out his stone pile and uh, brought in a, a, an extra front end loader. We were able to uh, mix the RCC in the ready mix uh, truck. It took us three minutes to mix a load. Um, I'm sorry, three minutes to load the truck, five minutes to, uh, to mix, so there's the eight minutes. Um, six minutes to unload, and these are all four uh, five-yard batches, by the way. And we did, uh, we had four ready mix trucks assigned to that project for the day. By doing it this way, he was able to do his regular concrete in between. So he was doing roller compacted concrete and conventional concrete at the same time. We did 300 cubic yards in four hours. This is, this is 300 cubic yards is what a pug mill does in one hour, or close to it. But for these types of smaller jar, jobs, this is excellent production for RCC. That works out to 75 cubic yards an hour. 
18.75 yards per hour per truck. That's a pretty good average per truck. Any ready mix producers in the audience? One. That's a great number. All right. Uh, NRMCA, I think, averages three to three and a half yards. Okay. Here you got 18, roughly 18 yards an hour. Is that truck making money for you? Thank you very much. He nodded to said yes, by the way. Okay, thinking outside the box. We had a project in East Tennessee where the, uh, the project was about an hour away from the ready mix operation. The only ready mix operation was a dry batch operation. And he did not have a ramp. So we decided, and this is something somebody did probably 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I think. Let's dump it on the ground. So what we did, well, we got there early, and we put about 40 yards of RCC on the ground. We did use a hydration stabilizer in the mix. We have a, uh, a moisture meter right here, so we kept monitoring the moisture to make sure we weren't losing anything. So we had 40 yards on the ground by the time the first dump truck showed up. And we had uh, five yards per truck in this job, three minutes loading, uh, mix and adjustments, seven minutes discharge, five to eight. Uh, average time about 20 minutes per truck load and discharge. The uh, ready mix producer did put this ramp here, which didn't work. Plus, he didn't allow enough space to dump all the RCC. Um, and then you see the front end loader uh, picking it up. We did 200 cubic yards with three trucks in five hours. So now, by doing it this way, it takes a little bit longer. Now we're down to 13 yards an hour on this job. Still pretty good, Mr. Ready Mix Producer? Still pretty good? Okay. So we have, we have uh, done a lot of different uh, application of producing roller compacted concrete. This was for a prison job that was an easily hour and a half drive from the ready mix operation to the plant. So we had we had a lot of time from when the tr last truck left to the first one came back. So we had enough time and we had to regulate the, the amount of material we had on the ground. But but here's 200 yards as ready mix producer was able to sell that day with a little little thinking. Durability of RCC uh, produced in a ready mix operation is the same as high as as a, a pug mill or central batch plant. You can get 95, 98 percent compaction with a high density paper. Uh, seven days strengths to 35 to 4,000, 28 days, uh, very good. These are cores of uh, of two jobs, two RCC jobs. The smaller one was done with a conventional asphalt paver. This was a driveway in Georgia, a, a private driveway, good consolidation. This guy here was at our, our uh, cement terminal. Um, we, we did not use a asphalt paver. We used a grader, dumped the material on the ground just like you would move dirt around. Uh, this was about uh, nine inches thick. And you notice that when we did it that way, your compaction at the bottom it isn't as good as it should be. So when we have to do uh, a project like that, we limit the height so we get some better compaction. But these both came out of a ready mix operation, dry batch operation. We do use water, we do use chemical admixtures. We use standard water reducing agents. We use retarders if we have to. We use uh, accelerators. We did a job that was 25 degrees. Um, Polycarbonate work well and hydration stabilizers. This is concrete, just this is stiff, that's all. Typical RCC job, RCC job for a ready mix operation, I would say it would be 250 to 300 yards. Uh, can, they can conceivably do that in one day. What type of jobs are they? Here's one that, that we just had, uh, CRS Roofing in Chattanooga. Uh, this job, the uh, paving contractor, because of the tightness of it, uh, that's a high density paver in the background. He did about 250 yards a day. The total job was 750 yards. This is the type of job that's ideal for the ready mix operation because it's it's not a lot of material. You're not doing 
<clears throat> miles of RCC where that machine just keeps going, going, going. You're going to have some breaks in here, so you can handle this as a ready mix operation. The largest job we, we did was a 700 cubic yard job in nine hours. The smallest is 50 yards. If you have a ready mix operation and you get into producing roller compacted concrete, you have you could have an asphalt paving contractor calling you up saying, I need 50 yards of this stuff, can you give it to me? And if you, can, if you have a truck there, you can do it. If you have a, a ramp, you can do it. This is, like Wayne was saying, those two guys that were hugging each other in Chicago, you know, this is an asphalt contractor calling you up for material, getting into the, into the concrete industry. Okay, dry back operation, five to eight cubic yards. You can uh, load the truck, mix it, unload it. Eh, let's be conservative, 30 minutes. Is it worth the time and effort for a ready-mix producer to produce roller compacted concrete? And as we alluded before, typical ready-mix load size per cubic yard is around seven. Roller compacted concrete is about five per truck. Delivery time, these are NRMCA numbers. Uh, load the truck, send it out, come back two hours. That truck is not seen for two hours on average. RCC, you can unload in 20 minutes. Maybe you want to make it 30 minutes. It's still a lot. Cubic yard per hour per driver. Three and a half compared to 15. If I was a ready mix producer, I'd be doing this every day. It can be done. So to conclude my presentation, and I'll save questions for later, Wayne, to web things. If, if you can make pervious concrete in your ready mix operation, and you can make roller compacted concrete. There was a job in Maryland where what the owner basically did was he took, he took, uh, well, let's not get into that. Roller compacted, pervious concrete is roller compacted concrete with no, with no sand. Okay? That's where I was trying to go with that. It's, it's uh, pervious is RCC without sand. It's, it's almost the equivalent. So, uh, that is the end of my presentation. I hope it was informative. And thank you very much.